I was in eighth grade and grew up in a you know pretty predominantly Italian neighborhood. And all my friends had instruments. I wanted to play the drums. Uh, but my dad, you know, had told me, he's like, well, you know, I don't have enough money, you know, to pay for something like that. I mean, we went to the music store and he kind of saw it. He goes, but if you want to get like a guitar or something like that. And, and I saw a guitar up on the wall and it was like the holy grail, right? No, no, well, there is no plan. That's why I'm asking you. Do you want to I, I, I first? I, I want to jam and make up something new. Like just to, just to freshen up and loosen up and okay. then hit our top. Track. I didn't really start getting into it until after I graduated. I started going to... Um, some youth meetings over at the church and they were always looking for musicians and I was playing in a actually in a Mexican band you know doing Spanish music and I was like 17 years old and playing in the circuit you know over on 26th Street um, but I learned a lot I learned a lot there you know about sound about you know controlling tuning um, you know especially having a guitar you know set up properly right and I actually started modifying my guitars meaning I would start working on them I'd take them apart you know, change the electronics like the pickups on this guitar not the original ones and actually the pots too um, especially on newer gibsons because this is like a you know a 2000 so it doesn't give you a very smooth transition it, you know on the older ones it would go like from zero to like blasting we're here you know you can control a little bit better and get different tones out of it so i learned how to mess with it you know i guess i probably ruined a couple guitars first but you know that's what i do Mando's doing it right now, look at him. He's actually playing on the actual frets, but you see how he's like resting his whole finger across? Yeah, I, I know what he's doing. It's it's so easy to play like that, but you need a damn good fucking bass player. Right. Listen to him. Don't, don't, yeah, but don't, but don't just leave it on the E is what I'm saying. Change, put the A in there, and then even the D. There's a family that, they were all musicians, and they, they wrote their own songs and stuff like that. And one of the guys saw me playing, I guess, at one of the church events, and he asked me if I would like to participate. It says, uh, first guitar, Cesar Garcia. And this was my first opportunity to ever go into a studio. Actually, the studio we recorded at was uh, where they record, Survivor, the band Survivor recorded the Eye of the Tiger. At the end of the day, we don't consider ourselves professionals, but we do try to act like professionals in the terms of you know how we play the music, how we record the music, and how we treat each other more than anything else. As the older I get, you know, the more I realize you know, that um, you know, we're not going to be around forever. And it'd be good. It'd be good to, to, to have something to show. She opened up the door. She put her paw underneath and like, like pulled it and got it open. And she's like, "Yeah, yeah, we're talking about you. Come on, there you go." You know, I I, I do it to to get together with my friends. You know, I. You know, as you get older, you start to realize, you know, who your real friends are. But now that, you know, I'm here, you know, at, at 53, it's, you know, I, I realize how lucky I am as a person. My wife's always asking me, like, why? Why do you do this? You know, you know where's it going to go? And I'm like, nowhere but my heart, you know. They always say, right, you never live truly unless you do the thing that you love. And this is one thing that, that I love to do. And... Even though it's not on the big stages anymore or anything like that, you know, to me, this is my stage, right? This is where I get together with my friends. Like I've always said, they're lifelong friends, and maybe a lot of people never understand that. You know, it's, it's a special connection that you, you don't have with anybody else, right? Yeah, I guess we all experience different relationships, you know, with love, life, children, and so forth. But, you know, playing in the band, to me, I, it brought four longtime friends, and, you know, and I thank God that they're still here with me. Here we go.